We have a thousand oh. people already watching. We're live. Wow. We're live. Hi, We're live. my name is Gus. And I'm Woody. And Hi, welcome I'm to Dive Talk. I'm Jonathan Bird. <laughs> um, that's not even close to what he's asking to show us. Say, hey, everybody, welcome to the live stream from. Where are we in Florida? Fort White. Fort White. We're in Fort White, Florida, with none other than Gus and Woody from Dive Talk. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're saying. We're saying right. none other than Jonathan and Todd from Blue World. Jonathan Blue World. Hey, you know what? We we are. You guys have been telling us you wanted a collaboration with Dive Talk, and we listened. And we want. We wanted a collaboration with Dive Talk. Can I say what we did? Yeah, we want to go hand down. Tell them. Tell them. Tell, them, tell, them, tell them what we did today. The Grand Traverse! Yes! Peacock! I've been wanting to do that for so long! And guess who filmed the whole thing? We the masters. I, I had some like gigantic one million lumen light that they had me hold the whole time. Yeah. yeah. So the whole cave just sure. like lit up. One million. It's like a million million. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're probably they're probably wondering, what is a traverse? Gus, tell us. Yes. What is a traverse? Yes. yes. So at Peacock. We have the opportunity to do multiple traverses. Traverses is when you go in in one entrance and come out in a different entrance or an exit or exit entrance, whatever. The point we is- We were cave diving, obviously. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the Grand Traverse of Peacock is about 5,000 feet of swimming, 4,500 to 5,000 feet. So we did that today. It's a lot of swimming. It's a lot of swimming. Yeah. And we and did it with our- Right. Yeah, yeah, but I think what's yeah. interesting also, in order to do a dive like this, we had to sort of set up some things yesterday, right? Right. You can't just like do it all and you know hope it all works out. So yesterday we actually set a line in the exit because the the gold line that we would get to is kind of far from the surface, a couple hundred feet, isn't it? Orange Grove, yeah. Yeah, the Orange Grove. So we also left uh, uh, our magnified reel there and our O2 there, so that. We exit there today. It was all there. It was all set Perfect. up. Set up. Yeah. And, uh, it was awesome. And we had pretty much no problems. Everything yeah. was, Everything went according to plan. Yeah. Yeah. Very well. And these guys. Well, well you don't see these guys, but there's a there's a camera crew that he brings along with them, and they were at all of the um, various uh, exit points. No, do no. a selfie. No. 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 Right there, man. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we swam for what? Like five four hours. hours? Three, uh, yeah, four hours, hours. Three, yeah. Yeah. four hours. Give some context to the distance. I can't wait for the um, when we all emerge out through the duckweed. We look like these green monsters because there's this one. Where's where's all the duckweed? Uh, all all some sand. Yeah, it's just like everywhere on us. And you were, dude, you're, you were. I look, I look, I look, I look like a awesome. green swamp monster. <laughs> I love this. I'm probably gonna have duckweed in my rebreather for the rest of my life. <laughs> swamp. It's <laughs> funny because I come out and I'm like blasting air, opening it up, like right. coming out, cleaning myself, like for the camera. Right. And then I turn around and you're like covering. Right. Well, I just came up through it. I was like, yeah. 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 I, I call it nature's glitter. It just gets everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But then, no, but really, I didn't see much. I, I didn't see any like well, right. Now on my unit, it does get cleaned out. Yeah. We dove up, uh, and this particular cave, there's there's no flow, no DPVs are allowed, and it's got some really beautiful formations, doesn't it? I mean, that one where you kind of go through the slit, is that what it's officially called? I don't know, but it's like <laughs> they would get they would get in front of us, they would get in back of us. It's it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, we had a lot of, I can't wait. Any long. questions, by the way, from the audience? Oh, yeah. 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 We have to we have to open the live stream here so we can. Get some questions. Yeah, we'll going. Going. So, um, how do I get to it from here? I'm, I'm pumped. I feel good because. Oh, it's really I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not on the Wi Fi. I need the Wi Fi. What's the, the Wi Fi? It makes you have to see the Wi Fi. I'm in. It's really good. It's on the wall. We're logging in, as you can see, to take your questions. And we're very high tech. Clearly. Very high tech. We didn't. That thing's not even on the Wi Fi. We're probably doing that on cellular. Oh. That's great, huh? Uh oh. Yeah. Is it slow? Is it really bad? Uh, I don't know. You so, tell me. I don't know. I mean, there's people on it, and we're. Thank you. Have to lowercase C. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. Six five. Four. 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 So look, we were never too far. What was the furthest we were from an exit today? That would be a good question. You're probably asking, hey, how much gas did you have to take? What was the furthest you were from an exit point? And I would say it was from. 900 feet. 
900 feet, but if that exit point would have collapsed, like if you couldn't exit there, then we're no more than, was it like 1,800 feet? So we brought enough gas on our rebreathers such that we would be fine having to exit from 1,800 feet back, right? So we would easily, I mean, we all had tons of gas yeah. to take care of ourselves, but we could also use it for each other. So that was sort of the planning that went involved in it. So even though it's 5,000 feet of cave diving, we were never more than a theoretical 1,800 feet from an exit. Uh, I mean, yeah. So that, I mean, that's the, that's the thing about rebreathers, right? Re, 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 we wouldn't be able to do this dive without rebreathers because it's that's so far. Yeah. But on the flip side, a rebreather can get you into places that only a rebreather can get you out of. So you have to be careful with that. Because if you get way into a cave and you have a problem with your rebreathing, you don't have enough bailout to get you back out. So, so you have to plan for that. We've got some questions. We've got Chuck McDonald asked a good question. He said, how deep was the dive? I don't think we... Oh, that's a great question. question. Not deep. So Peacock, I think the deepest we were was 60 feet. Which is meters. really nice because there's no deco. Uh, did any of you guys have no, deco? 99 no. the whole time. I mean, we did a three-minute safety stuff at the very end of it, but our computers were like, you have no deco. You no. can come straight up to the surface at any point during the dive. If there's a negative. 60 feet is the max depth. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Really, that's really nice. With no flow. Not having to worry about deco is and really wonderful. Nice. What else we got? So done? Zepton asks, uh, any tips for a beginner? A beginner diver? Tips of what? Or a beginner I, cave diver? Well, let's just cover both quickly. What are the differences? I guess. Cameraman? He, he just said, <laughs> well, tips for beginner divers. He started, if you're not certified, I mean, tip, dive talk's tip is always you need to, you know, really get with a great cave instructor and don't go into any of these caves without having full cave certification. You're gonna start off with cavern, which means you're gonna still be able to get directly up to the surface. You're gonna not be in the cave zone, which we've talked about forever, which is no more light, no direct descent to the surface. So take your time, do it properly, and uh, yeah, that's my biggest advice. But, but don't not do it because you hear, oh, you're a crazy cave diver. We were talking about this earlier. She's in back of us, actually. She's a new cave diver here. She has a lot of and we were like, you know, there's this, there's this myth out there among a lot of, I'll call it non-cave divers that you're crazy because right. you're so cave diving, right? right? Yeah. But we're not. We're actually so much more into the planning than before I was a cave diver. Before right. I was a cave diver, let's face it, what was your dive planning? Yeah. Go, the go, thousand go on your way. I'll be all right. <laughs> a thousand pounds, whatever, the thirds thing, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, cave diving really, if you follow the rules, now you're really into planning, and the planning really matters. So I love that part of cave diving. Yeah, and, and we were talking about this earlier, that I'm pretty sure that the accident rates in skiing are higher than among certified cave divers. Because oh. cave diving is a very safety oriented sport and skiing is kind of strapping boards on your feet and going downhill. More people and get killed by vending machines. I'm just saying say that like, I do love to ski. I'm just saying it's more dangerous than cave diving. <laughs> Especially if I'm doing it. Yeah. So I uh, Price Diver asking a question. When did, when did you start your training for Kiss Rebreathers? <laughs> well, for you us, that's answer, an upcoming you episode. Answer, you answer first. So, we did our training, what, last month? Yeah, the beginning of December. So we went down and we drove with Ed Sorensen yep. and Mandy Sinetti at uh, Cape Adventurers. In Which they kind of know. Marion Winder. Yeah. Sure. And, it's, and we, got cert we, got certified, we got certified on the Kiss Sidewinder, which is kind of like the cave diving rebreather. And um, so we're, we're like rebreather newbies. And these guys were more experienced. They did not look like rebreather no. newbies. You guys looked amazing in the water because they were like great in the water with the gigantic biggest camera lights and stuff <laughs> I ever saw for 5,000 feet today. So we did. Dude, I don't know. We had a good time. We had a good time. Good, time. good work. Great time. Good uh, work. Whatever. You can answer for yourself. Yeah, go. Right? Now, about you guys for your training. Yeah, so I, I, I got certified on the rebreather in 2019. By? I don't remember that guy. Very not memorable. Um, then, then in 2020, I got certified as a cave diver, yeah, and in yeah. 2021, I got certified as a sidewinder diver. So, yeah, yeah. so I've been cave I diving for over two years, uh, diving the sidewinder for like about a year. Wait, I've been cave diving longer than you? Yeah, yeah you have more cave dives than you. No, 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 I don't. 
We're, we're close. Oh, we're close? We're okay. For me, I started <laughs> not on the Sidewinder. I started on the Kiss Spirit. I think I was like the third or fourth or fifth Spirit ever made. Something like that. And it mm-hmm. probably was about 10 years ago, Mike, if you're watching this. Can you believe it? And it was awesome. Oh, Mike! And, and Mike sort of took me in like really early on. Like he saw how excited I was about it. And he's like, I'll die with you. I'm like, Mike Young is going to die with me? I've done like two Kiss Spirit Cave dives, and that's just how he is, right? He took you into the Kiss world, and um, the Kiss world is really close. Like, they have so many different Facebook groups, and Kiss divers just, they understand each other's gear. They under, it's, it's like this club and network, and people are really going to be willing to bring you along, if you will. That's sort of the spirit that Mike set up from the top, and I, I love, that's one of the reasons I love the KISS community. Yeah, good answer, good answer. What do we got? Uh, let's see what else has come in. Uh, can you remember, this is from Gary H, can you remember your very first cave dive after training and how nervous or not nervous? Absolutely, you remember mine. Everybody, Everybody remembers. remembers. Yo, my, 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 first. My, mine was uh, <laughs> with Brian Kickhook, so I got certified with him in, in the Abacus, and he said if I don't totally screw up my last skill, I will take you to Fanghorn Forest, which is pretty big cave dive. When I got there and I saw the sign, like we're swimming, it's a pretty far back, and I saw the sign, you know, motion. There's, there's a sign? So there's a big sign that said, or a cookie that says Fanghorn oh, Forest. Oh, a cookie, a cookie. I cried. Yeah. I literally cried in my mouth. <laughs> the Fanghorn Forest. I just true. broke down and cried. That was my first wow. official cave dive. Yeah. Mine was, mine was the same. It was with Brian after yeah. he did my class. Yeah. My first dive, he said, I'll take you to um, um, Frozen Rain. Glass factory, and I really wanted to see that. That's so that's so nice. we went. Yeah. Uh, what about best you? cave dive ever. I don't really remember my first dive what? after getting certified. It was Genie or Peacock or something. I don't remember. That's wow. really emotional of you. That's wow. Yeah, that's, that's, that's so wow. Cool. How about that's you? Really, so really my, special. my first cave dive after being certified was in 1993, and it was Peacock to Olsen. Oh, oh really? Cool. Yeah. Wow. So what that's, we did yesterday. Yeah, what we did yesterday. So that's oh, weird. Wow. That's like full circle. Yeah, that is full circle. That's I mean, cool. Well, hopefully it's not the whole circle. I expect more in the circle in the coming years. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yes. Yeah. I, I mean, well, he's got no, that so, sign So yeah, you know, Peacock has, uh, this is where I trained actually. It was in Peacock with uh, John Orlowski, who's a great instructor, one of the one of the old guard in the Cape Town community. Uh, I don't think he's active anymore. He's probably a little too old. Very cool. Wow. And when we talk about Peacock, we're talking about West Skiles Peacock Springs State, state Park. Park. Yes. So yes. it is a Florida state park that has a really amazing cave system under it and a bunch of springs. And people go there and they swim. And some people just dive in the spring and some people uh, just hang out. Uh, but cave divers love the place. I, uh, Especially my, my first cave dive after training, I remember vividly. It was a Ginny, it was 94 minutes, max depth 94 feet. And I was with Woody and David and, and, and Vigiano and, and, and Doug. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. I'll we'll never forget it. Hmm. Awesome. Yeah, let me check on. Uh, so, some other questions are uh, Are yeah, you guys right. diving tomorrow? Yeah. They, they are diving tomorrow. We not. have to go home. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> what a bummer. <laughs> we have to fly home tomorrow. Can only wish. I know. What else? what else we got? What else we got? Uh, let's see. More questions. Benjamin Cream says, "Can't wait to see you guys in Cozumel." Oh, they're all awesome. so on, 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 on our, on our Cozumel. Thank you. So your so Cozumel no, adventure. No, no, no. We're crashing. Yeah. Very glad you are. Uh, we had some questions about whether we're doing a video on Socorro or not. Beautiful. Um, CPO rules. Uh, yes, there there will be a Socorro video. Oh, yes, oh, yeah. There is going to be one. Oh, that place. Yeah, there is going to be one. So, um, so we so should we throw this live stream over to you guys? Uh, what do you think? Sure. sure. What do you Why think? Yeah. All right. So here's the thing. We are going to do a traverse <laughs> with our live stream, and what we're going to do is we're going to throw our live stream to their live stream because they are doing a giveaway of, tell them, tell them what you're giving away. A brand new Shearwater Petrol 3. Yes. That's like a, do we have it with us? That's like a, what, 
$1,800 computer or something? It's, it's yeah, that's, 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 the, that's the bad boy of computers. Very nice computer. Okay. That's a really nice style computer. And um, so they're going to do a live stream to give that away. So when we stop, you're going to have to go over to Dive Talk on their live stream and see if you can win it. And we'll pick up the conversation then. And we'll pick up the conversation. Bye, everybody. All right. So are you on yet? Are you on yet? Wait, we have to Wait, stand by. We're almost on. We're traversing. We're, 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 we're traversing. All right. Live traversing. So in the interim, we have another oh. good question. Oh, okay. and I did want to mention um, our episode with our collaboration on our channel will be in June. I'm not sure on their channel when it'll be, but ready? Oh, we're what? starting the live stream. Whatever that was. was. Nice. Okay. <laughs> So we're gonna say we're gonna sign off, and we'll see you in a minute on Dive Talks live stream. Hope to see you there. Join us. Sit with we're out. All right, and now we're live on Dive Talk.